now up to the K10 block, and this is a modified block. So you're going to go to the book, and here's the modification. They've simplified this, this sections on the side. Now, during the bag sort, you have all of these different triangles here that are the same size, and then you have four of these that are slightly different sized. So they were so close when I was doing bag sorts, I had to mark them with the letter A, and then I marked them on the piece when I went to go do it for um, block prep. So I have this block laid out over here, and there's a lot of pieces. So we have these outer sections with the A blocks. So there's three outer, three pieces in the outer sections. And then there's, this is essentially a nine patch configuration. You've got four solids and then five pieced squares. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble these into a square, I assemble these units. And I'm gonna basically work this like a nine patch. So I'm gonna assemble this unit this unit and then base this one and make this a row. So what I'm going to end up with is working on this section here. So we're going to make these three row, 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 connect the rows and then we'll be going here. When I base these, I'm going to base the tips of these first and then the long sides and for the triangles, I'm going to base the hypotenuse last to get the tags to go away from this central section. So we'll get started making these little square units here. So I basted a couple pieces in these little units here, and this piece here has angles that are larger than 90 degrees, so it doesn't end up being as sharp. So just be careful about make sure that you do, do put this point as close to the actual paper as possible. And then when you go to baste it, then you can feel it around and see if it's actually where it should be so that you can attach it to the right point. I'm only basting one of the two of these triangles at one time. Now I marked these as a directional fabric. I'm not quite sure if it is or not, but I'm still going to abide by that. So this is directional, but when this little piece is in here, it can be this way. It, for, for my fabric, it can be flipped, you know, one way or the other depending on, you know, this is going to be like this. So it doesn't matter which end the point is based on the front of this. So just make sure that you're paying attention, but, but when you baste it, you lose all this stuff on the back. So I'm going to do one and then attach it and then do the other and then attach it. And then I will move on the row to get everything together. Here I've got all three of the units for this bottom row completed. So I am going to attach them into the row and my directional, it is directional because it's got these little buds that have to go up. So that's my directional on my fabric. So I'm going to attach these together and then move up to the next row. So here's this row that it's assembled and all of my little buds point in the same direction. So now I'm going to work on assembling this row. So I've got all the pieces for the middle row of this nine patch section all assembled. And I've got my little flower buds pointing the same direction. So I'm going to assemble this and then attach this to this row. So the second row is all completed and now I'm going to join these two together and then I'll be able to assemble the top row of the nine patch section. So now two of the three rows of the center portion are together and off to assemble the third one. So I've, as I've assembled the units for the top row of this nine patch section. And now it's a matter of assembling the row and attaching it to the other two. So I have this whole nine patch middle section done and all of my flowers go up for the most part. So I've got my directional issues settled and I do have the same directional issues on here. So these have been marked accordingly so that the flowers go in the same direction. And now it's a matter of assembling the border section. So 
I'm going to treat this as a border and then I can put it together with mitered corners. So I'm going to assemble these three pieces and these three pieces and these three pieces and these three pieces and then assemble it like a border. So then I'll attach the sides and then attach the top and attach the bottom. When I baste these, I'm going to baste this side first so my tags go in towards the middle so I don't have it interfering with this seam here. These three corners here are more than 90 degrees and so they're going to give you a little bit of hassle when it comes to making sure that the fabric is in the right location. So I'm going to baste this first so that my tags go away from these seams and then base this I'll probably work my way around this way or that way however it works when I get to these I want to base this really tightly and glue basting will give you that tightness and I'm going to feel my way around here but it's never going to be exact when you deal with a 90 more than 90 degree point it's never going to be exact so you want to make sure that when you go to attach it that you feel underneath your fabric to make sure that you can feel this paper corner and put this exactly where it needs to be, this point and that point, so that it lines up the best. It'll ease itself in if it's not exact, but just be aware that there may be some difference of points when you're doing this kind of a thing because of the fact that it's more than 90 degrees. So I'm going to base these and attach this in one row. So I basted my pieces and I did two different types of basting. This one I basted the bottom and then this side, this side, this side, this side. I didn't like how this was messy. So I did this one, I did the bottom and then this little short side and this side and this side and then the top. So that gave me a nice flat surface so that I can attach it. I'm not going to change this. I'm just going to do the rest of them like this. And then of course I did this outside and then the sides. I will assemble this and be able to put it on there then. So now this row is assembled and I've got my line here that's nice and even. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach this because this is directional. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to this bottom section so I don't get these mixed up. So if I do this as I get them finished, it'll keep my stuff straight. So I've got this attached to the bottom of this nine patch and when you attach this the edges of this triangle should be right here at the edges of this intersection so essentially this would be like an arrow if it was a solid it would make one arrow so I'm going to I've already basted the top row and I'm going to then attach it to this side Now I've got the top row of this done and I'm going to attach it to the top portion of the nine patch. Got the top row attached. Now I'm going to assemble the side and then attach that one before assembling the other side. So I basted this side and made it into a row and now I have to attach it. I taped it here and started in this corner and stitched to about the middle of this triangle and tied off. So now I'm going to start in this other corner and you're going to notice some, some dimensionality forming and that's okay. Um, but so I'm going to start at this corner, make sure I'm going to make sure that I match it up and stitch there and then work my way all the way down while I wor and working these into the sides. So I've got this other right side attached now I'm just gonna go to attach the left side and when I attach the other side made sure that my flowers were all pointing in the right direction so I'm gonna assemble this side and attach it to my block so I've attached the fourth side on my block and if you notice it's gonna be very very dimensional and that's fine it will work itself out once you remove the papers so now I have a completed K10 block <laughs> 